Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on this Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you quickly and easily, hopefully, how you can test out any of your blueprints with a really simple, really easy node, which is at the same time kind of a good way for you to start learning blueprints at the first place. That node is print string. And if you're into programming, you probably know a lot about print strings and it's really familiar to you. If you're not like me and you're still creating something in Unreal Engine, you probably have no idea what the hell am I talking about. I'm going to show it to you and it's a really simple thing, which is at the same time, like I said, useful to kind of try to start figuring out blueprints in more detail in a more versatile manner. So I have my level here, as you can see, it's a standard third person starter content level. I'm going to open up my blueprints and open level blueprint. And let's say that I have a system of different nodes that I want to see if they're working properly. I'm not going to build one. I'm just going to create a single node, which is going to be on event begin play so this is a node that starts up when you start your game i'm going to find it by right clicking and typing in here it is event begin play and it's a simple script a simple part of the unreal engine blueprints which triggers itself whenever you start your level when i compile and save it and go back into my level when I press play nothing is happening and even though this script or this node in blueprints is actually working quote unquote I can't see any result of that the easiest way to check if the script or again the node is working is to add print string here it is this is a really simple really effective way of testing out especially when you have more complex blueprint builds that have a lot of nodes and you're not sure what's working what's not through this node print string and here is the explanation print string is basically a way to get a short message a log that appears on the screen and there are of course other options as well but essentially it just prints out couple of words or whatever you write as a way of showing you hey this is working now this isn't going into the build you don't see this print string text in the final build you just see it while you're testing out the game so I'm going to edit and show you how it works by typing in this really works and that's the text that is going to appear once I start the game, hopefully when this event, this node is triggered. So again, I'm going to compile, I'm going to save, I'm going to go back into my level and press play. And here it is, this really works and it's gone. That's all that print string does. However, you have your additional options here. Of course, you can see when you kind of expand the node, print to screen, print to log, we can change the color of text, <laughs> which isn't <laughs> it's a cool option, I mean, it doesn't do anything, but again, it shows just how versatile the same engine is. And we can set duration to, let's say, 4 seconds. We can compile and save. Again, this is useful for testing out your blueprints, but at the same time, testing out blueprints and learning about it in general, which I'm going to show you as well. This really works. 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds, 4 seconds, and it's gone. So it's really cool really effective and again a second part of this video will show you how you can play and try out different nodes what do you, they do in uh, blueprints by playing again with print string so i'm going to break this connection and i'm going to add a really simple delay node delay does nothing more than delay a certain action by this amount of time so i'm going to place this on two let's say three seconds that's in seconds and again i'm going to save file and save and let's try it out again here we are nothing is happening nothing is happening here it is four seconds when those are gone it's gone as well 
now you can play around further with it. Now let's take this part, delay and print string and copy it and add it here and we can connect it furthermore here. Let's place this to two seconds. Let's change this to blue and let's say still working. Again, we're going to compile and save and go back and try it out. So once more, we have this delay, three seconds, four seconds, two seconds delay, and then another text. We're in the game, nothing's happening because of the initial delay, first text, still working, after that delay, four seconds, and it's gone. This can be useful for so many things, for trying out what do different nodes do in blueprints. It's a really simple thing, again, if you're a programmer, you probably know a lot more about that than me, but still, if you're not, it's really an effective way to kind of start playing around with blueprints in a simplest imaginable way. Again, the as you see here, development only, this is not going to be executed during the build of your game. It's going to be here only for the test phase, but once more, even in that test phase, it's awesome if you're learning Blueprints and Unreal Engine. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for checking it out. Hopefully you found it useful. Hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, please consider subscribing. I have a bunch of more tutorials on Unreal Engine that you can access. I have also different means how you can support me. All of them are in the description below. But most importantly is to leave a like and to subscribe. It's the easiest and most cool coolest way how you can support this channel that's all for me again thanks for watching thanks for being here hopefully i see you on my next unreal engine beginners tutorial video and until then have loads of fun in your unreal engine projects bye bye